So this is a video about our student managed investment fund at Loyola University in New Orleans. We have $1 million in real funds and we've been actively managing the portfolio with our students since 2017. Um, our intention for the portfolio is not to grow the amount of money that we have, but to pay our, our profits as scholarships to our students. We had a total of 132 students who took these uh, student management investment fund courses over the past five years and actively participated in the management of the portfolio. And all in all, we, we, man, we, we paid $386,000 as scholarships. Um, our student managed investment fund is uh, very unique in the sense that we have no restrictions. We basically can trade any security, uh, be that is a stock, an ETF, a mutual fund, bond, options, commodities. At one point, uh, we, we also considered investing in cryptocurrencies and um, we can trade it any way we want. Any way, meaning that we could go long, we could go short, uh, we could trade margin any way we want. And uh, we also can trade at any time um, that we see fit. So we usually trade during our class time. We can trade it uh, during the summer. We can trade it during Christmas. Um, we have an active Facebook group. Uh, we, we basically participate in this uh, process. And um, we, we try to have a very inclusive uh, decision process with the students who are currently taking the class and the students who've taken it already and, um, and some of the finance majors that are considering uh, to take the class, which is an elective class. Um, but like I said, if you have no restrictions, that makes you, uh, the Student Management Investment Fund at Loyola quite unique. Um, more so, uh, we do have investments, meaning that we have long-term investments that we purchased long time ago and we still have them. Um, but also we trade. We sometimes trade options for speculative purposes. Um, we do write cash covered puts, uh, uh, covered calls, uh, sometimes straddles, some the option trading strategies that we do trade. Um, Sometimes we buy stocks for very short periods of time, right before an earnings, if we have earnings expectations. And sometimes we just feel like an investment that we had for a long time. We don't feel as good about it uh, right before the earnings, like Netflix, when they went from $600 down to 300, we basically, our students actually had a very bad feeling and we, we got out of it. And uh, that saved us a huge loss um, when, when, you know, Netflix took a dive. So we do trade um, and we, we are not only an investment portfolio, but we also use the funds and the account for uh, purely trading purposes. So um, our transaction numbers, uh, I thought could uh, provide some insight as to our activity. And um, so just last year in 2022, I mean, this current year, we had 248 trades. And during the COVID, notice how um, the COVID year, we had almost 600 trades. And, um, and because it was online and um, you know, our students had more opportunity to participate um, wherever they may be, and in, in, we actually had presence from multiple countries, and we basically just kept trading and kept making money. In fact, that was one of our most profitable year, and we did give out, um, which I'm going to go through, uh, quite a lot of scholarships that year. Um, we also have very active option trading, and um, our total option income is about $187,000 to this day. And um, you know, this year we have about 181 option trades. Uh, sometimes they're speculative, but most of the time they're for income generating purposes. Um, sometimes we can have trades just for the sake of learning how to trade. And um, you know, we write cash covered puts just for a $50 income or a $100 income deep out of the money. And um, so you know, we do have significant um, you know, trading activity. Um, so the following slides actually go through semester by semester how we, we, we performed. And our student managed investment fund actually had been beating S&P 500 left and right. <laughs> and uh, we we're very proud of our students and their performance with um, the portfolio management and active portfolio management. So the spring of 22, uh, we had a net return of 1.48% with 36 students. And uh, average market, uh, S&P, Dow Jones, and NASDAQ averaged out 
for the same same period of that semester, uh, negative 15%. And we were able to pay a scholarship, however little, we still paid $10,000 of scholarships. And, um, and I want to, you know, uh, kind of talk about how we select students for the class. Uh, at the beginning, 2017 and 18, it was an invitation only class, but we then expanded the, uh, the scope of the class to include all finance majors who uh, wanted to take an elective. And, um, and currently in 2022, we now actually allow anybody in the College of Business to, to take the class as an elective. Uh, we believe that finance is a craft and um, we go through uh, certain experiences of people uh, and those experiences uh, expand um, our understanding of what is an investable asset. So years ago, for instance, we invested in gaming companies just because we had students who were not finance majors actually. Um, but they, they were taking the classes and audit and, um, and they informed us about these gaming companies, um, online games, and we made a lot of money through them. And um, so at that point, we were uh, considering how this course is more of a craft rather than um, just about pure finance. So our discussions about products and the companies and you know the financial ratios and financial uh, analysis uh, sometimes comes sec secondary. For longer term analysis, obviously we, we, we try to team up students who are not finance majors with finance majors so that we would have the fundamental uh, product side of discussion as well as the financial analysis of discussion. And um, through this, actually, we were able to convert a lot of non-finance students to double major in finance. Um, in spring 21, uh, we had 13 students and we actually beat the market again. The market average was 9.75. We had 12.25% um, um, return and we were able to pay out $57,500 in scholarships. And in the fall, uh, we again beat the market and we paid $65,000 in, in scholarships. In the spring of 20, um, the market was down about 12% and uh, we were down a little, little, but we managed to have a significant option income and dividend and interest income that, that semester. We had a lot of bonds that we invested in anticipation of the market crash and um, we, we kind of liquidated our account and uh, that gave us some profits that accumulated. So we were able to pay scholarships much needed at that time during the COVID. And uh, we paid about $32,000 of, of scholarships. And this is right before the, um, or right going into the COVID, uh, the market was about 9.42% uh, positive, And we actually had a, about a percent more than that. And we were able to pay about $30,000 in scholarships. And um, spring 29, very similar performance. We paid $30,000 scholarships, beat the market by 2%. And uh, we had 16 students. And then, um, yeah, fall 18 is also a, a, one of those semesters that we're really proud. Market had a about 10% drop where we had a very slight drop. We were almost even. And we were able to generate option income and dividend income. And um, around that time, we were not sure what year or, or what uh, specific event we should pay the scholarship. So for that semester, we didn't actually pay out scholarships, but we also only had six students. There were, they were the ones that we actually had uh, invitation only times. Um, and then in the spring 18, we had 11 students, market was down, we were up, we were able to pay $60,000. And uh, 2017, the entire year, we actually paid about $100,000 in scholarships, uh, but it was only a few students that were um, invited. And, um, and that's why I actually didn't want to bring in any um, slides for that, but we, we beat the market again. Uh, it's it just that the, um, the, the profit structure was a bit different and, um, and the student structure was a bit different than what we have right now. So, um, like I said, our student managed investment fund is incredibly unique. And um, there are a lot of uh, student managed investment funds out there, but ours is unique in the sense that we manage our own money at the College of Business with our students and we have no restrictions and we are actually beating the market uh, continuously for the past five years. We paid significant scholarships and um, we, we try to bring in all those who are interested in, in investing and trading in finance, not just uh, very strong 
um, you know, financial analysis or ratio analysis or fundamental analysis, um, but also uh, intuition based, uh, based on the product, based on the company, based on our own experiences with the companies. Um, for instance, in, in, in one case, we were considering to invest in, in Boeing and we invited a, um, a test pilot who used to be an astronaut, uh, who was an, uh, an alumni. And, uh, and this was the time when Boeing was having trouble with their planes, two of their planes uh, falling and uh, dropping. And, um, and hundreds of people you know, died because of these accidents. And, um, and Boeing was actually in, in, in trouble financially. Uh, but you know, at that time, you know, because of the experience that our alumni were able to bring, we invested in, in, in Boeing back then and uh, we made good money. So it is not just a, a, a class or a course uh, for our current students, but we, we try to network our current students with our alumni and, uh, and use this course and use this money, this portfolio as an opportunity to have a, a platform uh, through which our students network. And um, so that's about it. If you have any questions, please do let me know. And then um, thank you. Bye now.